blue light, the, uh, the causes, the damage, uh, and the solution that um, uh, Green Acre is offering in the form of nutri cosmetic ingredients named uh, Blue Guard Oral. Blue light is a new emerging pollutant. It become more and more relevant these days because of the intense use of digital devices. But what is blue light? So blue light is part of the sun spectrum uh, and it's part of light spectrum. It is the shortest wavelengths within the visible range. Um, and that means, um, visible means that it's blue, we can see it. In, in contradiction to ultraviolet light that we cannot see, but is there. And uh, shortest wavelengths means that it has a lot of energy. Um, blue light has good sides and bad sides to it. And um, the, the good sides are the aspect of affecting our chronobiology. Blue light reset our biological clocks. It tells us this is day, um, daytime. And this is why, for example, when we are jet lagged, uh, we are being told go out to the sun because then the blue light reset our clock and tells us now it's daytime, stay awake. But with the increased uh, use of digital devices, especially now in this corona situation, um, but not only, we are just all very hooked on our digital devices. Um, the intensity of exposure to blue light that is emitted from digital devices uh, like cell phones and, and computer screens, TV screens, LED light um, is much more intense. So if we use our digital devices, for example, later in the day, it also reset our clocks and tell us it's not night, it's day. And that's why we have hard time to fall asleep, for example, when, uh, when we use our com uh, computers late at night. Um, the other effects of uh, blue light that are being discovered, and this is a relatively new science, are the effect on our skin, on our eyes, and a, on our well-being in general. The effects on the skin are uh, leading to pigmentation. Um, it leads to breakdown of the extracellular matrix of, uh, in the skin, which means disrupting the barrier and the functions. And it also uh, make our skin more dry, more wrinkled, um, affecting our eyes. You will see in, the se in a second. Um, make us uh, both disturb our vision, but also affect our sleep our, and, make, and generate a lot of stress. But how, how does uh, blue light affect our skin and, uh, uh, and eyes? It's simply uh, because of this uh, high energy wavelength, uh, it penetrates deeper into the skin and the eye uh, and uh, uh, generate free radicals deeper in the deeper layers of both the skin and the eye. Uh, in the eye, the blue light penetrates all the way to the back, to the retina, where we have a blood supply and we also have the nerve that connects to the brain. Um, and it's known to, that uh, blue light leads to, um, to eye fatigue. Uh, it can lead to blindness and uh, the connecting uh, to, the, to the brain affect the, the receptors that are responsible for the melatonin production. So uh, UV light, on the other hand, also damaging to the eye, but affects only the outer part. Uh, in the skin, it's the same story. UVB uh, penetrates only to the, uh, through the epidermis. UVA penetrates into the dermis, but blue light goes into the subcutaneous layers uh, and generate their free radicals that are um, uh, leading to all kinds of uh, damaging effects to the skin uh, throughout uh, all the layers of the, uh, of the skin. 
Blue light in general, it's, uh, uh, it's a wavelength between around 400 nanometers to 500 nanometers. And this is why we see it as blue. This is the uh, emission uh, wavelength for uh, the blue color. The dangers of blue light are multiple. I mentioned a few of them, but this is kind of a summary. First and foremost, uh, it, it increases ox oxidative stress. It uh, generates reactive oxygen species, free radicals, uh, and, uh, and bring them down to the deeper layers of the skin and the eye. Uh, it stimulates melan uh, melanin, melanin production uh, in the skin and causes hyperpigmentation. It is similar to the effect of UVA. Blue light can cause breakdown uh, and decrease of the extracellular proteins like collagen and elastin in the, in the skin. And it reduces that way elasticity and also disturb the, uh, the barrier and, and, the, and the, the skin and the skin barrier. Uh, blue light can cause inflammation. And this is one of the main uh, effects and causes of all kinds of uh, diseases. And uh, it also, as mentioned before, delay the release of uh, melatonin and reset the body internal clock uh, or, or the circadian rhythm to a later schedule. Uh, and this generates also a lot of stress. So preventing these effects uh, are very important, both for our skin, our eyes, our sleep patterns, and mostly for the, our whole well-being and, uh, and uh, preventing all this stress. Recently, um, there was a, a study that was published by Unilever uh, exploring the, both the awareness uh, of the public to uh, blue light effects on the skin and the effects themselves. So interestingly enough, uh, Unilever discovered that 64% of the people that uh, uh, were questions were unaware at all the effects of uh, blue light and what it can do to our skin. Um, what they found out that uh, today, 60% of the people spend about five, six hours a day in front of the computer. This is time five working days, uh, means 30 hours a week in front of, uh, of the screens. And what uh, they found that is really interesting is that this is equal to spending 25 minutes in midday sun without any sunscreen, without any protection. So it's very damaging effect. The difference is that it is chronic. It's an accumulated chronic damage that uh, in a way we actually don't feel because it is kind of uh, gradual and slow, but uh, the, the sum of the effect is actually very severe. What they also saw, uh, saw that uh, 30 hours of exposure to uh, digital devices increase skin inflammation by 40%. This is very, very significant, and this is uh, a cause of a lot of um, uh, problems that would be best to prevent. Uh, they mentioned as well that um, the effects, of course, are not only uh, on, on the skin of the face, for example, but it affects the whole body. And uh, it uh, disturbed as well the, uh, the sleeping patterns and the circadian rhythm, which means that, again, we are getting restless, stressed, uh, and, um, and that's the effect on our whole well-being. There are um, several companies, multiple companies, are already addressing the dangers of blue light uh, from the topical side of it, from the cosmetic side of it. Uh, Blue Card Oral from Green Acre is unique because it addresses it from also from within, systemically. So some examples are uh, Amor Pacific uh, in Korea developed a method to clinically evaluate blue light protection 
uh, of skin, and this was uh, published in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology. S.C. Lauder has run several clock gene experiments with skin cells uh, exposed to, to blue light. The results show that disruption of circadian rhythm can inhibit skin repair and increase DNA damage and inflammation. So that's um, a lot of knowledge that is being uh, accumulated about the effects of blue light on the skin. Amway, on the other hand, have a kind of a mix uh, take. The researcher, Helen uh, Young, basically says that this is a very new um, uh, field, that uh, there is uh, some understanding of, uh, uh, of the field, and, but this is all in very early stages, and there is, um, um, there is a need to, uh, to learn more and to know more about the effects of blue light uh, on the skin. When we were doing our uh, studies in vitro, uh, we needed to calibrate in a way the, the uh, intensity and the exposure time uh, of the cells to blue light. And from this, we can actually uh, learn about uh, the, the uh, intensity and the, the effect of blue light in general on our uh, body. What uh, we tried to, to determine in this study was uh, the cytotoxic effect that lead to 50% inhibition to the IC50 uh, uh, inhibition concentration of 50% of the cells in matter of their viability. And this was determined in a certain uh, irradiation uh, power, 45 uh, joule per square centimeter, and for one and a half hours. So this is a pretty intense, uh, it's, it's not such an intense actually um, wave uh, irradiation, but it it is a very a pretty long time, one and a half hours. But if you remember from the studies, uh, we are actually exposed to blue light for much much longer. So um, this is a, again an evidence that even uh, low intensity, but over a long period of time, lead to uh, pretty severe damage. Um, in this case to the cells, but that indicates uh, about the damage that it can cause uh, us. What uh, blue light does in principle, it's the main, the main thing that it does, it generates free radicals. And uh, when free radicals are attacking a cell, uh, it can resist for a while, but after a while, it just cannot anymore, and it breaks down, or in a way, commits suicide, it dies. And uh, what um, antioxidants do, and uh, in this case, the Blue Guard Oral, is they protect the cell from this, um, uh, and neutralize the uh, the free radicals and uh, and that way prevent the damage that uh, can happen to the cells. This was the background for why we developed in Green Acre the product that is called Lugard Oral to fight basically the effects of blue light. Lugard Oral is a proprietary beauty supplement, a blend of uh, superfoods, fruits, and herbs uh, that was designed to protect from blue light disruption of beauty and our wellness. Blue Guard Oral uh, is, uh, in very brief, it's an advanced anti-digital aging ingredient. What, it, what we discovered that it does is that it helps cell regeneration and vitality, meaning it brings more blood flow into the tissue and, and more nutrients and oxygen to the tissue, allowing it to uh, be more uh, viable. Uh, it physically protects from the photo, it uh, provides photo protection, physical photo protection, both for the skin and the eye. It helps production of collagen or prevent degradation of collagen, which allow more skin elasticity and a better barrier um, formation. 
uh, it reduces uh, inflammation very drastically and it uh, reduces free radicals, reactive oxygen species, and most importantly, lipid peroxidation. Blue Guard Oral, uh, is a, as I mentioned, is a blend. It's a blend of, that have five components. A very important part of, of Blue Guard Oral is the GAC fruit. This is a, a fruit that uh, originates from Vietnam and it's very, very rich uh, in carotenoids, especially lutein and zeaxanthin, uh, two uh, pigments that uh, are providing a, a very strong antioxidant capacity and a physical barrier because of their color uh, against blue light. But gag fruit is, has a additional components, uh, nutrients that are vital, not just for the eye and the skin, but also for our overall uh, uh, good health. Lutein and uh, zeaxanthin are, um, um, as I mentioned, these are carotenoids. And interestingly enough, uh, the gag fruit and the blue guard oral thereby contains three times more lutein than the, the gold standard in the, in the market, which is very gold. It also contains 40 times more zeaxanthin compared to yellow corn. And zeaxanthin is called zeaxanthin because zea, as you know, is corn. And that's the color of, of the corn. So the, the gag is even more potent in the, con, in the composition of the carotenoids within it on top of the other vitamins and, um, and polyphenols and flavonoids that it has. So uh, a very uh, important component for the physical protection against blue light and for protection against the oxidative damage as well. Uh, carotenoids are known to accumulate in, uh, in our skin and, in, and, and lutein and zeaxanthin specifically accumulate in the skin and in the eye. Um, carotenoids are components that uh, humans cannot synthesize, so we need to consume them. And what was found out is that they are really very good protectants against uh, photo damage, uh, lutein and zeaxanthin against the blue light, other carotenoids against uh, UV light and other uh, wavelengths. But uh, as soon as they are being used, they are degraded. So we need to replenish the skin with new carotenoids since we cannot synthesize them. And the gag fruit in this case is a very good source of these carotenoids to be replenishing the carotenoids that were degraded in the skin and in the eye. The second component of uh, Blue Guard Oral is cacao seed. Cacao, uh, as you know, is very rich in polyphenols. This, uh, it has uh, the polyphenols of the cacao are known to be good antioxidants. They help repairing DNA from damage and they are also having anti-inflammatory uh, effects. Um, cacao also has some caffeine in it and caffeine helps blood circulation, bringing uh, more nutrients and, uh, and oxygen to the tissues to help their vitality and regeneration. So again, a very important component addressing um, several aspects of the uh, effects that are derived from uh, blue light as uh, the, the damage of blue light. The third component is pomelo. Pomelo is very rich in bioflavonoids that are known to be extremely good antioxidants uh, and also they can uh, filter UV. They help uh, preventing the damage of UV light. Uh, pomelo also has uh, high level of vitamin C, like uh, all citrus uh, fruit. And, and vitamin C, besides being, again, a very good antioxidant, also help building up collagen in the skin and in the body. Uh, so th these are very um, essential uh, functions of the uh, pomelo in this combination of uh, ingredients. 
Um, as you can see so far, and you will see in the next two components, this is kind of a bomb of, of uh, antioxidants. And be, antioxidants uh, with additional benefits are essential for protection against photo damage, any type of photo damage, specifically blue light in this case. The fourth component of uh, Blue Guard Oral is mangosteen. Mangosteen is rich again in antioxidants, um, especially xanthones. These are extremely potent antioxidant component molecules um, and that uh, are part of the uh, mangosteen fruit. And uh, they are known also to have anti-pigmentation effects and anti-inflammatory effects on top of the antioxidant effects. Last but not least, rosemary. Rosemary extract within uh, Blue Guard Oral uh, works again as an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, contributes to this part of the benefits of uh, Blue Guard Oral. But an important benefit of uh, rosemary extract is the fact that it has an antimicrobial effect. So not only in the body uh, working against bed bugs, but uh, also in the uh, formula itself, since this is a completely natural formulation, blending a uh, number of ingredients together, there are no preservatives, no additives in the uh, in Blue Guard Oral, and rosemary function in this case also as a preservative, and this is very important for a formula like that. So these were the five components of Blue Guard Oral, and uh, now we will talk about the benefits summarize the benefits of Blue Guard Oral, of this blend of multiple ingredients, each one of them address uh, other aspects of the damage of uh, blue light to the skin, the eye, and our, uh, our overall well-being. So uh, Blue Guard Oral can build up physical protection against blue light. These are lutein and zeaxanthin that come from the gap. That's a really, a, a, it's like a physical sunscreen. <laughs> Uh, in this case, physical blue light screen. Blue Guard Oral also uh, reverse the cytotoxic effect of blue light. You will see data in, in the next few slides uh, that are referring to each one of these, or to most of them. Um, uh, blue Guard Oral also helps decreasing uh, reactive uh, oxygen species, free radicals, and uh, lipid peroxidation that uh, occurs due uh, exposure to blue light stress. Uh, so it works as a super antioxidant in a way. Uh, it also helps reducing inflammation that, uh, that uh, occurred due to blue light stress. It helps uh, improving skin regeneration and vitality. Uh, it helps maintaining collagen due to inhibition of collagenase, MMP1 expression. It helps improving skin elasticity, tone, and smoothness. This all comes as a benefit from uh, the other effects. And last but not least, it helps maintaining opsin photoreceptors in the eye uh, that are uh, being uh, damaged during uh, blue light stress. So overall, a complete coverage of uh, protection against blue light damage, in this case from within. So some examples to the science that have been already uh, been, have already been done uh, with Blue Guard Oral. These are, you remember this calibration that I talked about of the blue light uh, intensity and duration of exposure. So this was done for these studies. And uh, you can see on the left hand side that uh, when we use the IC50 um, uh, wavelength uh, uh, in exposure to uh, uh, blue light, uh, we get uh, more than 50% of the cells basically that we are checking cell uh, viability here and the recovery of the cells from the damage of blue light. So if we, have, we don't have any exposure to blue light, that's here on the control part, this is our 100% viability. The cells are happily living and growing. If we expose the cells to blue light stress, they, they die. 
uh, if we add increasing amounts of blue guard aura from 100 microgram per ml, 200, 500, up to one milligram per ml, we can see that 100 microgram per ml help with the recovery, but it's not enough. 200 microgram per ml already uh, bring back cell viability to its 100%. So it protects the cells in such way by this amount that they are they can uh, uh, they don't need to commit suicide because there is a protection against this uh, oxidative stress that uh, uh, make them uh, that disturb their uh, behavior. Uh, and what is if, uh, very interesting here is that additional amounts of blue guard aura uh, do not um, it, uh, do not kill the cells, but also do not increase cell proliferation uh, much more, uh, which means that they don't have kind of the, the opposite, the cancerous effect that makes cells proliferate very fast. It just protects the cells, make it happy, allow it to grow normally and uh, in a healthy way. And this is very, very uh, good and very nice. Um, other effects that we were testing to show protection of the, uh, uh, of the cells from damage and from uh, making cells dying, basically, is measuring the amounts of lactate de dehydro dehydrogenase, I'm sorry, uh, LDH, uh, that leak into the cytosol. Uh, LDH leak into the cytosols when cells get, are getting damaged, and that's an indication that uh, cells are dying or de to, to cell damage. Um, and what we can see here that when cells are happily uh, um, growing and do not have any stress, they don't express so much LDH because there is no reason for the cells to, uh, to get damaged. But when you expose them to blue light stress, they, uh, a lot of uh, LDH is being licked into the cytosol and that, um, that's because they, there is a damage to the cells. And if you add to this composition, 200, or to this setup of the study, 200 microgram per ml of blue guard aura, you get over 100% suppression of the effect of the blue light, uh, meaning you protect the cells from the damage uh, that blue light caused them. So that's another indication for protection uh, and recovery of cells from the uh, uh, blue light uh, induced cytotoxicity. Other aspects that we mentioned before uh, are uh, inflammation. Uh, we, uh, we tested in a setup of uh, what is called immunofluorescent um, test the effect of a, a blue guard on the expression of TNF-alpha, which is a, a marker, a cytokine that um, is a marker for inflammation. When, um, uh, when, when cells are being stressed, in this case with uh, blue light, they, uh, they get inflamed. And uh, part of the inflammatory cascade uh, is expression of cytokines. One of them is TNF-alpha. Um, and you can see it here uh, with the intensity of the, the, the green color, uh, which is the fluorescent uh, in, the, uh, in the cells. When cells are not stressed, TNF-alpha is ex not expressed very much. There is no inflammation. And uh, when uh, cells are stressed, there is uh, a lot, uh, the, the level of TNF-alpha expression in the cells is high. But when you add blue guard oral to this, uh, again, to this setup, uh, it reduces the inflammation. It has an anti-inflammatory effect. TNF-alpha expression is being uh, uh, suppressed. The same uh, way of testing this immunofluorescence um, testing was done for another factor that is very important. For, uh, for cell viability and uh, vitality and regeneration, and this is VGF. VGF is an angiogenic 
uh, protein, meaning uh, it affects uh, buildup of blood vessels and, uh, and blood circulation and how much blood gets into the, uh, get to the cells and to the tissue. Uh, more blood that is being circulated means uh, more, again, more nutrients and more oxygen that uh, reaches this, the tissues. Um, here, the, uh, the color is, is exactly the opposite. When cells are happy, they express a lot of VGF. They are vital, they, they uh, live happily. Um, when they are stressed with blue light, there is suppression of the expression of VGF. And, uh, and you can see here that blue guard oral is able to protect the cells from this uh, blue light uh, damage uh, and VGF expression goes back to normal. So another benefit of blue guard oral, helping um, cells, uh, cell regeneration and vitality uh, through the expression of uh, an angiogenic protein named VGF. Um, we did another set uh, of uh, studies uh, that uh, is not uh, like the immunofluorescence. In this case, uh, this is uh, an expression of uh, enzyme that is called catalase. In this case, we wanted to uh, demonstrate the antioxidant capacity of uh, blue guard oral uh, um, in multiple ways. Um, Catalase is an enzyme that uh, produces uh, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, uh, from water and oxygen. And when, uh, when cells are getting stressed, there is a very high expression of catalase, and meaning there is a generation of a lot of free radicals uh, like uh, hydrogen peroxide. Um, and uh, when we add to the uh, cell culture uh, that is stressed with blue light, blue guard aura. Again, there is an almost 100% uh, suppression of the expression of catalase and that way reduction in the oxidative stress that is being generated. So that's one way to show an antioxidant activity. Another way is to show um, and uh, inhibition of lipid peroxidation. Lipid peroxidation is key in damaging uh, cells and in causing inflammation. Uh, this is also key, for example, in cardiovascular uh, diseases. And we really want to prevent lipid peroxidation because it just uh, damage um, the cells, the tissue, the skin, the eye, everywhere. Uh, the way to uh, demonstrate it is by uh, using the marker MDA in, uh, in the cells. And here too, you can see that happy cells do not uh, express uh, MDA. Uh, but if they get stressed with blue light, the expression uh, is very high. So there is a lot of lipid peroxidation going on with blue light stress. And with blue guard oral, we actually again suppress it and pr prevent lipid peroxidation uh, almost all the way to the, the basal layer, the, the basic layers uh, uh, of uh, cells that are not stressed and not damaged. So a very good antioxidant capacity of blue guard oral. Um, I'm coming back to anti-inflammatory effects. This way, this time we measured it uh, using ELISA uh, and not the immunofluorescence. We tested again uh, TNF alpha uh, in the ELISA setup. Um, and here too, we can see a very good effect of 200 microgram per ml of uh, blue guard oral on preventing the in, uh, inflammation uh, due to uh, blue light stress. This is expressed in TNF alpha, that is one cytokine that is uh, re uh, representing inflammation. Another one is called interleukin 1 alpha. Uh, here, too, very similar pattern uh, of reduction of inflammation due to blue guard oral in cells that are uh, uh, stressed by blue light. Another component of the protection uh, of our 
uh, skin by blue guard oral is protecting uh, the extracellular matrix like collagen uh, from degradation because collagen uh, basically help keeping our skin intact, help maintaining a very good barrier uh, and, uh, and basically help the skin being a very a, a good protection layer against all kinds of pollutants, including blue light. And um, uh, what we can see here is that um, blue light increase the expression of the enzyme collagenase that is called MMP1 as well, uh, matrix metalloprotein nice one. And collagenase, as it basically say in the name, degrade collagen. It's an enzyme that degrades the protein collagen. And so we want to prevent the expression of uh, collagenase uh, uh, and that way prevent the damage or the degradation of the collagen. And this is exactly what Blue Guard Oral is doing. It prevents the expression of MMP1 uh, in the presence of blue light stress. So another benefit for uh, this fantastic ingredient. Uh, last uh, is about just generally safety. Uh, the, the, the studies uh, that show that the safety of the ingredient in vitro can also be translated to safety uh, of the ingredient in vivo. Uh, you can see that it um, doesn't matter how much uh, of the Blue Guard oral uh, you add to cells, uh, it doesn't increase cell proliferation, uh, so it doesn't have a, a carcinogenic effect, and, uh, on, and, and it also doesn't have a cytotoxic effect. So we have a, a blend of uh, ingredients that uh, works very well in protecting the cells against oxidative stress, in this case blue light, uh, and does not negatively affect uh, the cells. And this is important because this is the, uh, I would say the most uh, uh, important concern that one has to take into account when you take a dietary supplement or a cosmetic ingredient is the safety of the product. It does not have to do good, but uh, it should definitely not do uh, any damage. And that's um, uh, Blue Guard Oral, does not do any damage. Um, the one study that is still missing in our puzzle is the clinical study, but this is now uh, being run and uh, it is a study on 80 volunteers. Um, we increased the number of volunteers for the study. Uh, they are all heavy users of digital devices. Uh, the use level is um, 200 milligrams per day. Uh, which we think is enough to show an effect. We hope it will show an effect. And the duration of the study is two months. Um, the, the study is designed to measure both effects on skin, uh, effects on eye, eye fatigue, uh, and effects on, on sleep and awakeness, and basically generally reduction of stress. These are the parameters that are going to be tested in this uh, study, uh, placebo-controlled study. This is it. This is Blue Guard Oral. It's a proprietary blend of superfoods uh, that is designed for the protection and prevention of uh, uh, damage caused by blue light, or as it's also being named, high-energy visible light. Um, to our beauty, to our eye health, to our sleep, wellness, and all of it coming from within. An important thing is our, uh, we are uh, shortlisted for the Pure Beauty, uh, Pure Beauty Award. Um, and uh, if these are the last days that one can vote. So if you like the ingredient, uh, please go and vote for us. So maybe we also win 
an award for this uh, ingredient. We, um, we wanted to add some um, recommendations for formulations that one can uh, make with uh, Blue Guard Oral. Um, from the nutraceutical aspect of it, uh, one can make tablets, uh, you can make capsules, you can uh, make soft gels with it. And maybe an uh, interesting um, uh, format are the effervescent tablets, the ones you just put in water and drink. This is, uh, uh, I have to say, I like this format. Uh, in the matter of nutraceuticals the most because it's kind of uh, you also get some water and you hydrate yourself as well together with it. Um, on the side of food some suggestions for what one can do is uh, um, making this uh, shot you can add collagen to it you can do uh, just shots with with blue guard oral by itself um, or uh, beauty jellies, these are very popular. Um, dark chocolate, the Blue Guard Oral already have cacao in it. So that's uh, um, a, a format that is, can be interesting uh, for children, maybe chocolate uh, spread like Nutella or a, a type of product uh, or um, just fast melting powders, or on the other hand, you can also make uh, powders that are dissolving well as uh, in hot drinks uh, for the winter that is coming. Um, so there are multiple options for what one can do it with Blue Guard Oral from the nutritional aspect of it, nutraceutical aspect, uh, dietary aspect of it. Uh, there are some suggestions for what one can do uh, in matter of cosmetics. This is a, a brownish powder. So uh, formulations that will uh, that uh, are from the color cosmetic um, uh, lines are po possible, like foundations for the darker uh, tones, uh, press powders and uh, also powders for sunscreen. Uh, they became very uh, popular these days uh, with the brushes. So uh, protection from blue light like sunscreen. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I, it was a pleasure talking to you and I am, uh, will be very happy to answer any questions that, uh, that you have. I hope you enjoyed the talk.